Okay, let's talk Valentine's Day, one of the more stressful uh, celebrations of the year for me because my son usually asks me for something super fun and I love to take on the challenge, but it also find it to be incredibly stressful to make 20, 22 individual Valentines for kids. But um, I do it anyway and I think it's super fun and I wanted to share it with you in case you might uh, wanna copy the idea or also are crazy like me and uh, think it's sort of that in between fun, stressful scenario where you still wanna do it, but it's still stressful. So um, what we came up with is my son's school. Um, they are the salamanders. And so this is their little logo mascot. And so what we decided to do is um, take the look of alcohol ink on the back, add a little salamander on the front, um, and add the name of each student to the front and then love my son on the bottom there. And then because my current obsession right now is puzzles, um, what we decided to do is then create a puzzle design. And this is one of my mock-ups, one of them that actually didn't turn out that well. Um, take the cute little salamander and all the words and create a nice little cut puzzle out of that so that each kid can have an eight piece puzzle. And within that puzzle is actually, um, I didn't really plan this well because now I'm gonna try to have to hold this up by itself. But it's a salamander within the puzzle that's independent of the other salamander. So if you can see that on the screen there. Um, so we just thought it would be fun since puzzles are kind of my latest obsession and thought it would be a great opportunity to test out my method to see if it's, uh, gonna work for me in the future. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add some photos to this video and uh, just show you the process of how I went through and made all of these Valentines. So um, I'm in the middle of it right now. So if uh, you're actually watching this video, it means that thumbs up, it was a success. Okay, before I add some photos, I actually wanna go over my technique for gluing images down to MDF board in this case um, and what I've learned so far. So my process right now includes um, in this case, I'm using three millimeter MDF board that I bought off of Etsy. I use original tacky glue, this classic craft glue. Um, I spread a very thick amount on the MDF. I then take these little rubber things, um, squeegee kind of things, and I just go through until every little bit of that tacky glue uh, looks like it's very, very thick and there's no missing spots. What I then do is I take my image, um, add it to the MDF just like this. I have a little roller, but you don't need a roller. You can use a credit card, anything with a flat surface. I actually have clear sheets that um, I put over top of this because sometimes that glue leaks out and it can be a pain um, to have the glue get on here because it'll ruin your image. So I buy clear kind of transparency films. I'm actually gonna switch to parchment because I think it's a lot cheaper. I put this on top of, so the clear piece on there, I roll it out so that it all uh, presses on there really, really solid. Uh, you'll see glue squish out the edge, that's fine. I leave this clear piece on there and then I stack books and weights and anything heavy on there, stacks of wood, anything. That first layer needs to be super, super flat and then I just kind of layer it on top of there. Um, I found that letting it dry maybe 30 minutes um, or overnight is fine. You just have to be really careful that the glue doesn't get on that front image or that either in that clear transparency will stick and then you're in trouble. So again, I let that completely dry. Um, once it's completely dry, I come back and seal it. I think I left my other can downstairs, but um, I seal it with UV uh, resistant clear acrylic coating that helps it from fading in the future and uh, preserves those ink colors. Um, the other product I use is uh, Krylon uh, Triple Glaze, and that um, actually gives it a nice thick coating that allows me to add uh, masking on top of my image so that I don't have image lift once I uh, take it out of the laser. So this is what it looks like, post glue, um, post spray with both of those. So I can peel that off and the image is not coming up, which it will do if you don't have those glazes and clear acrylic sprays on there. I have masking that I buy in a really large bowl. Um, I'm kind of on the 
fence with it right now and I, do you see this? This is a mess. Um, it's not wanting to roll out in sheets anymore. So I'm just wasting a lot of it. I'm not sure if it got hot or cold. It just doesn't want to work for me right now, but it did for a really long time. So it may just be user error there. Um, I'm not sure how, but I'm sure if there's a way to mess it up, I will have to find it out. Um, so anyway, so I use that masking and I put it over the images, over the glazed images. Once again, I take my credit card, I take my roller, and I seal it on there super, super tight. Um, now it is ready to go into the laser to be cut. And um, when I remove that masking, we should have very little, hopefully none of the image will lift off and we will have 22 perfect, tiny, beautiful Valentine's Day puzzles. Okay, now I'm gonna add the images and show you the detailed up process. Thank you for watching. All right, here I'm just laying my puzzle pieces on top of the image. I drew those in Illustrator. Um, I'm just duplicating them and laying them on top. I'm going to cut each of them and I'm using medium draft board from that, for that three millimeter MDF. Okay, my laser just completed here and we have some nice puzzle pieces. My boards are a little warped, so I try to hold them down with magnets. I only did two this time because I can see that like there's bouts here and I don't have strong enough magnets. So I just started with this side so that I could have a little more control. Um, so what I actually do now is I use Gorilla Tape and get a little bit um, together and then I can hold all of the pieces together while I lift it up without having to uh, remove them individually. And then actually the masking will stick to the Gorilla Tape and then I actually have uh, my job is way easier. 